doing these, you know, with your, your left hand in, uh, holding either your arm and the upper arm, the form, or at the back of the wrist, the next thing you can do is go ahead and put your normal grip on and then take the last couple of fingers of your left hand off the golf club. Basically, you're just letting it hang out there. Some people will even do it where they'll only put two, two fingers and a thumb of the left hand on the club and they'll put their grip on and they'll go ahead and make that motion. And once again, that left hand is just getting in position where it learns to go along for the ride without getting too involved. So that would look like this. Again, I'm holding it very relaxed like I'm holding that egg in my right hand. And I want to make sure that my left hand, I've just got a couple of fingers on there. I'm letting those other two fingers hang out, kind of like Pickle and Pete out there. And now I'm going to get my body to go ahead and do all the work. That was a really nice one there. I really liked the way that the, the arms were relaxed and the way that the body you know, delivered the swing that time. Now as I do these, I'm doing the awing again because the awing gives me really good feedback as to whether I'm adding tension in with my arms or my, my shoulders or whether it's all coming from my lower body. Again, the, the rotation starts from your core. However, your knees and your weight shift have to go along with that. They have to be a blended activity as part of that pivot. Once again, I really liked the way that that one came together. You know, I had a nice relaxed awe. My body was doing the work. I had a nice counter lean in that action for me. Again, your counter action may be different. You got to find the one that works for you. All right, now there's a couple of other ways that you can work on getting your, your arms and your hands, you know, to work in a, in a unified manner without getting too much hand in the golf club. I was once working with uh, Stan Utley and he actually said to me, he said he thinks that golfers either do a real good job with their right hand or their left hand. One hand does a good job and the other hand gets in the way and I thought that was great because I've believed that for a long time. As a matter of fact, I think most people that are dominant right hand, they're best to let the dominant right side do the job. It's the smarter hand, it's the one that's more likely to let the subconscious mind do the work instead of trying to manipulate it. Golfers that try to control with their non-dominant hand often struggle. I've seen professionals, as a matter of fact, try those drills for year after year and they just never get good at it. Now there may be some value to, to, to doing it and to understanding how it needs to be relaxed as the body does the work. However, because it is the uneducated hand, there's going to be a tendency for the subconscious mind to try to control and manipulate the action instead of let the body do the work. So a couple other drills we do you know, to help this, and I do one where I'll just put my right hand down there and I just put my left hand so it hangs in position right where the right hand is. And as the right hand goes back, it just, the left hand hangs there. As the right arm comes through, we let that left hand just kind of catch up with the right and everything goes together. So that kind of looks like this. Okay, on that last one, I actually, you know, I had a thought go through my mind and I kind of tried to compensate with my right hand as they came through. Once again, you're going to feel the difference between when everything's relaxed and the arms are responding to the body or when the arms are trying to do something and compensate in the golf swing. So you can see there's lots of ways to, to work on these drills. You can go ahead, you know, put your normal grip on as a matter of fact. You can go back and as you come through, just let go with your left hand so that you can see whether that left hand is is acting in the golf swing in a very active manner or if it's very passive and it's just going along for the ride. That one kind of looks like this.
Okay, so again, feel free to experiment with it and see if you can find out different ways that work better for you to learn how to keep your, your dominant hand in control of the club in, in a passive enough manner that you're holding it lightly. Like uh, Sam Steen used to say, hold that golf club like you're holding a bird. You don't want to squeeze it and kill it. You're just holding it lightly enough to keep it in your hands. You're going to let the body do the work when you do that. So, you know, feel free to experiment with it. You know, I hope this helps you learn how to get your body in more, more control. For those of you golfers that want to be more body players, that want to have more of a swinging action, good luck. Work on it in this off season, and uh, we'll see you next year. Thank you.